Hello, welcome to Hope and Tarot. I'm Hope, and in this video, I review the general meaning, numerology, element, astrological association, and archetypes for each tarot card, including a brief overview of the stories and the people behind the illustrations in the African American tarot deck, as well as sometimes the Afro Brazilian deck. On to number 14, the Temperance card. This card is also called the Alchemist because at its core, it's a card about experimentation, testing things out, striving for an equilibrium, making small adjustments, and understanding things that may feel foreign to others. The Temperance card is the diplomatic scientist or the wise mediator who has learned through experience and mastered concepts like moderation, saving, compromise, taking the middle road, having an assertive patience, and the act of seeking the purest and most integrated form of something. When I see this card in any deck, I often think of the scientific method that they used to teach us in grade school and science class, where the idea is to set up specific conditions, hold them constant, take measurements, collect data, and all of that. The temperance card is bringing that same kind of objective, shrewd way of thinking to the metaphysical table. In the African American tarot deck here, the temperance card is depicted as Babalu Aye, who we met before as the hermit card in the Afro-Brazilian deck. Babalu Aye is the Yoruba deity of healing and sniffing out infections in the land as well as in the body. And that aligns with the precision and physical balance concepts associated with the temperance card. I love how stoic Babalu Aye looks in this illustration. He's calm in the face, but he's really gripping that staff and especially that dagger there in his hand. To me, it reminds me that the fire nature of the temperance card also has a grounded, earthly quality to it. He remains calm, steady, and alert. He's in a disciplined state of mind that does not tolerate distraction or overindulgence. In the Afro-Brazilian Dakir, the temperance card is depicted as Oshumare the Orisha of rainbows who raised wise and gentle children. The rainbow that seems to emanate from his head is symbolic of the calm after the storm and is a perfect example of the cohesion and the peacefulness of the temperance card and how the perfect combination of sunlight and raindrops can reflect a visually breathtaking phenomenon. In the Rider Waite Smith deck, the temperance card is depicted as the Archangel Michael, pouring water perfectly between two chalices, with one foot in the water and one foot on the ground. One of the things that the Archangel Michael is known for is his role in weighing of souls who are wishing to enter the gates of heaven after death. He does his job without personal bias. And the idea of weighing souls after death is an old, old concept. It goes back as far as ancient Egypt, where we see drawings of Anubis weighing souls for the afterlife. I imagine that the stakes are pretty high when you're the one who has that responsibility, as the measurement of a soul needs to be very accurate. One would need to be calm, adaptable, and steadfast just like the highest vibration of the temperance card. The crystals that I brought out to emphasize the temperance card meaning um, are citrine here, which is said to support realignment, creativity, experimentation, and to amplify energy, as well as reduce anxiety. And labradorite, which has just a beautiful, shiny, iridescent quality to it. It just glows. And this stone is known for supporting expansion of the mind and shifting perspectives. Labradorite can be a powerful stone for meditation, so you may want to pair it with something like the citrine to bring that calmness and balance to your process. Remember that in numerology, the number 14, the temperance card, is broken down into 5 because 1 plus 4 equals 5. As we discussed with the Hierophant card previously, 5s require you to be adaptable in the face of stress and to have the ability to adjust to changes. Associated with the astrological sign of Sagittarius, 
The Temperance card really reflects that combination of fire and Jupiter-like qualities of Sagittarius, such as independent thought, being comfortable with risk, and having a persistent urge to try and explain and make sense out of life. On a karmic level, Sagittarians are here to learn how to moderate their inner fire in order to reach their highest state of being. This, the temperance card can also come out if someone's trying to temper their responses to you or if they're trying out different ways to deal with you so that they can feel more balanced and serene. It depends on the question, the position, other surrounding cards, but overall, when this card appears, there's a strong message that certain aspects of your life are or will need to be blended and balanced. If things are hectic in your world, you will need to enforce calmness, but in a diplomatic way. Use common sense, check in with yourself regularly, and this is especially true if you're in a role that involves healing others or doing things in the service of others. Solutions will come from using the materials you already have, the resources you already have, and embracing a more practical, middle-of-the-road way of thinking when this card appears. That's all in Temperance Card for today. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of new videos and like this video.